Hi, my name is Larry Richardson. I'm the third place prize winner for the 2024 Scriptapalooza screenplay competition. Now, the name of my particular story is Pipeline. I got the idea from reading an article in a magazine a few years back that listed the top 10 countries for their proven oil reserves. And the usual suspects are are on that particular list. Uh, they're United States, uh, Saudi Arabia, Canada, Venezuela, Iraq, Iran. But there was one country that caught me by surprise. I had no idea they had that much oil reserve, and it was Mexico. It led me to a story idea. I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if an unscrupulous oil production company out of San Diego ran pipelines underwater all the way down to Baja, drilled down and created an underwater uh, pumping station. Then one of their ships could uh, come down periodically and pump out the amount of oil that that uh, particular uh, oil tanker could handle and turn around and go back home and, and they would uh, pump and, and refine that oil and then come back for more without anyone being any the, any the wiser. Well, that's the basic uh, idea. Um, the story uh, begins with our hero, who is a, a United States Coast Guard radio man stationed in San Diego. One day he gets a distress call from a tuna boat that is fishing off of the coast of Baja. And they tell him that for some reason that we don't understand, we are right now in the middle of a gigantic oil slick that's getting bigger and bigger by the minute. We don't know what to do. It's not coming from a leak in our ship because this is too much oil. We need help. And so the uh, radio man says, uh, I'll make some calls and we'll get some um, help to uh, come and, and um, take care of this. And so just sit tight. So while they're waiting, two black military helicopters appear on the horizon. They open their bay doors, slide their machine guns into place, and began firing on this helpless little tuna ship. They kill all of the crew and splinter the boat to the place that it can't uh, float anymore, and this tuna boat sinks to the bottom of the ocean in international waters. When our radio man hears that this tuna boat uh, sank out in uh, international waters, he couldn't understand how did that happen. They weren't even uh, complaining about being in danger of sinking. But because it happened in international waters, nobody has any jurisdiction, nobody's in a big hurry to get a crane barge out there and lift the debris up to see if they can do a post-mortem on why the ship sank. It's just written off as another uh, ship lost at sea. That's the basic premise for this story. Uh, and it took me about four months to write the script. Most of it was uh, taken up in educating myself to the details and the particulars of uh, oil production, underwater oil production, uh, how oil tankers operate, and, and the, ship, the whole shipping industry uh, was, uh, was quite an education on my part to get it right so that when people are watching this, they know that uh, this is the real stuff. Uh, it took me about four months to write the script, um, um, and, it, and it's one that I'm um, real proud of. Uh, my process of writing uh, it generally begins with writing out a, 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 an outline, uh, what they call a beat sheet. You simply lay, lay out, this is the first thing that happens, and then this is the next thing, this is the next. So it's all in outline form, all until you get to the, the big climax finale. Uh, you know exactly how the story is going to unfold, how it's going to develop, what twists and turns it's going to take, and how you get to the end. Uh, and that's how, um, that's how I do it. Uh, I've, I've written novels um, for like the last 10 years, uh, but didn't get into the script writing uh, end of things until maybe about the last uh, five years ago. Um, my brother and I wrote uh, Western novels. We liked uh, the West a lot. And we created a five-book series of uh, some fictional lawmen in turn-of-the-century Montana and how they um, took care of 
uh, protecting their town, and it was a lot of fun writing. Uh, ultimately decided I would turn a couple of those Western novels into screenplays. Uh, and then since then, I've created some other uh, genre books uh, in just modern uh, action adventure and uh, some <clears throat> some um, romance and even uh, dallied in some fantasy novels. Uh, so right now, I've probably got maybe four or five uh, screenplays. This is the first one that I've entered into a competition. Uh, and uh, the results have been really great, and, um, very uh, excited. Uh, some people uh, ask me, what's my secret, or do I have any advice for writers? And I tell them, look, this is what I did to learn about script writing, is I bought scripts. You can buy scripts for just about any movie that's been made, uh, and I, I bought uh, movie scripts that had a lot of action in them, like Die Hard, uh, Zero Dark Thirty, Hurt Locker, and focused on how they described action scenes, because I needed to learn how is the best way of doing that. So that would be one thing that I would say, if you want to learn your craft, uh, pick up some scripts uh, and see how they handle those kinds of little details that will make your script look uh, professional and authoritative. Uh, why I picked Scriptapalooza, uh, my brother-in-law is a uh, professional script writer. He's been doing it for about 30 years or so, and I usually pester him about, hey, take a look at my script, see what you think of it. Uh, ultimately, he said, you know what? If you want to know if your script's any good, why don't you enter it in a competition? So I asked him which one, and he said Scriptapalooza. Uh, it's, it's very credible, authoritative, uh, high quality, and um, I would recommend that you start with them. So that's what I've done for you uh, other script writers out there that are uh, plugging away. Uh, just keep writing, uh, and you're going to hone your craft, and uh, one of these days uh, you're going to be a winner in one of these competitions, and Hollywood's going to come knocking on your door. So uh, good luck to you all.